it was uh, December 3rd, 44, when the Germans, the aerogrossmen, the policemen encircled the house and let everybody again go to the yard, everybody from the buildings. I remember many, many people were dying, taking poison. Probably they have the poison with them in the last uh, case they, they needed and they took the poison. So we were again taken to a field, a big field, and we were sorted there. How were you sorted? By age? By age, again. The young ones in one group and the older ones in another group and beside the older ones, the young mothers also, but only children age up to one year old. What did they one. do with the other children? Did the they separate other, the, them? The other children, they have to leave behind or strangers can take them to the ghetto. So my son was two years old, so, so he was over the one, one year. And I again tried to, to hide, put a black headkerchief on my head and uh, put my son in front of my face, not to recognize me that I was young. For a little while it helped, but then a policeman came and uh, he roared that, are you deaf? Can't you hear the young ones over there? And then I gave my son to my mother-in-law's hands and I told her just to follow me, just to come. And it was a good idea. They, my mother-in-law with the child came after me and, and she found a policeman from her homeland, which was an other uh, city in Hungary. And she knew him very well and she cried and she begged him to save, not her, but me and the child. So then the policeman uh, pointed to the other group, which was going to the ghetto.